It is one day before the competition, and it's Friday night, um, well, Friday afternoon, like at 4.30. I'm able to actually weigh in a day before. Uh, they're gonna have weigh-ins tonight around seven, seven to eight. Um, and so as long as I get my weigh-in tonight, uh, even if I end up going over by tomorrow, there's not another way in. So that's kind of nice. So I can eat a breakfast and a good lunch and make sure I go in. But let's see where I'm at. My goal was to get the uh, 160, below the 169. And so right now I'm at 167 with my clothes on. I believe you can get down to your skippies uh, with uh, when they're weighing you and you don't actually even have to be in your gi. Uh, when they weigh you, so that's good. So I'm pretty safe uh, as far as the weight. Regarding my mental space, uh, I feel pretty calm, relaxed right now. Uh, I don't feel super nervous. I'm okay with whatever result uh, comes from the match. I'll be doing gi and no gi. I feel a little bit more comfortable with the no gi, mainly because that's just more of what I normally do and I don't utilize the gi as often. But I'm excited. I'm excited to kind of put myself in a situation that is the closest to a real fight uh, of how things would go down. Um, if I were to ever get in any kind of physical altercation uh, where someone is, is, is not my buddy and is, is looking to take me out. So as long as I don't come away with a broken arm, I think, uh, I think everything will be okay. I got about 165.7, so right in there. So it's the morning of. Uh, last night I had some Chipotle. Uh, after the weigh-in. And this morning I'm just eating the regular breakfast that I normally eat, uh, just some bacon and eggs. Probably for lunch, gonna eat something light, uh, just mainly trying to stay in the routine of what I normally eat. I plan on doing maybe a one or two mile jog just to kind of warm up my body today. But other than that, uh, take it easy until I head up there a little bit later in the afternoon. So I thought it would be helpful for my own growth and reflection to kind of look at some of these fights, kind of talk through my thought process of what I was thinking, what I maybe could have done, what I tried to do and why it maybe didn't work. And articulating these things will also help me learn from the fights as well. So I surprisingly didn't feel super nervous going into this first fight. Uh, took a few deep breaths before I went in. Um, tried to stay low here. I was trying to get a good grip around his neck. Uh, and then grab his leg to get the takedown, to get my points. And it went wrong about here. He's got a guillotine, and right when he wraps his legs around me, that's a really terrible spot for me. I'm gonna pause it right there. And this was like the first moment where I'm just like, this is really bad. There's a lot of pressure on my trachea. Um, I'm not sure which way to turn to get out of this. And I wasn't exactly sure what to do. So I tried to roll out of it, but unfortunately he still kept his grip. And if you look at this right here, I think the only way that I could have relieved some of the pressure is if I got around that leg that he had on top, but he ended up locking it up and I tapped out within that first minute. So pretty discouraging, but I feel I had realistic expectations going into this match. So this fight was about an hour later in Gi. Again, same guy, actually. So I was like, I do not want to get choked out here. I was trying to get a grip here, trying to get my grip higher on his neck and to get the takedown. Um, was struggling. Uh, you can see I'm trying to get grip higher because uh, there's a little bit more control if you grab higher up on the neck. And he's still keeping back and then he tries to pull guard he does pull guard but i still get points for the takedown um so there's my two points right there he's trying to go for an armbar i'm gonna pause it right there back up a little bit right there he's trying to get his leg around my head so that way that he can grab my arm and basically put it in a position to break it um, i recognize it and i threw his leg off to the side he's still going for that i could tell that he was going for that and i was turning and twisting to make sure he didn't get it ended up giving him my back um, at this point i knew i'm like i do not want to tap again to a choke uh, so I could tell he didn't really have, he was going for what's called, let me pause there, can't remember exactly what it's called, but your knee, knees in the back and you're holding on the top of the gi and the leg of the gi. But I ended up being able to wiggle out of it. Again, he's going for another arm bar. I can tell he's going for the arm bar. So I grab my hand so he can't hold on to it and I continue to rotate. Uh, so that way he can't get his footing. I grab onto his leg here. This puts me into what's called half guard. Um, I'm trying to get the underhook on his under uh, other arm, but I 
can't get, I get it, uh, but I can't get my body on that side. Uh, again, now he's trying to go for another arm lock. Um, I spin out of it. Again, he's going for an arm bar, uh, and he's getting points for these submission attempts, uh, but I get out of that, trying to maneuver him, trying to push him around. He's going for a triangle here, um, but I'm able to create enough space where I can still breathe, turn him around, he breaks that, he's trying to get the arm bar again, uh, does not get it, so I'm highly in defensive mode here, still going for the arm bar, I know if I turn out of it, I can try to relieve some of the pressure, then I have an opportunity to take his back, he's still holding on, let go, uh, and then right about, I get one hook in, I don't get points for this because my other foot you see on the bottom there, it has to be wrapped around the other way, um, and I wasn't able to get to that, uh, and so I'm at this point trying to get my hand underneath his neck, um, but he's keeping it down, I'm trying to push his face out of the way, not having much success, and then I try to get my other foot underneath and around, um, at some point here, right there, but he, he knows it's coming, he blocks it. He's able to kind of get out. I'm trying to uh, maneuver his body by moving his legs around, and he gets into side control. Um, this point, I'm just trying to create more space between me and him. And now I have him, did I have him in guard? I can't remember if I had him in guard. I don't think I did. Okay, yeah, he's still in side control. I have him at half guard right there. And I'm pretty tired at this point. I can tell he's tired as well. Um, he's trying to grab my arm. I'm trying to not let that happen. So I'm going to stay there. He gets into side control. I'm trying to push his body around. Uh, and now I'm trying to get to my side, so it gives him a little less power. He's in what's called, I think that's north-south. Uh, another point where I'm just like, I, I don't want to tap to a choke. There's still space in between my neck and his arm. I don't have to tap to this. It was really uncomfortable, um, but I just did not want to get choked out again. So I'm trying to turn over uh, to create that space. 15 seconds left. I get out of that, he's coming to my back, I'm holding onto his arm so he cannot actually get the choke, uh, and, and I'm just trying to get out of this. Kind of a sucky position to be. I felt that one was a big improvement uh, from the first match. I was really glad to at least go the full four minutes. It was nine to two. I can't remember how many points I would have gotten if I had actually gotten his back. Um, I think it would have been two points, which would have been nine to four. And so looking back on this, uh, I feel okay. I feel good about that round, um, mainly because he, he did have so many opportunities for a submission. And I feel right now my game is so much about defense and not getting submitted in survival. And my, my offensive game has not really caught up to that yet. I haven't honed the skills to get into advantageous positions as well and to hold them and to finish them but I was happy with my defense in that in that round so this was my third fight different guy this time was not as low uh, right off the bat was what I was noticing when I was watching this video he's going for the guillotine um, I'm actually kind of surprised he didn't stick with it because at this point that was kind of uncomfortable but he actually just runs to the back um, I'm able to kind of create a little bit of space uh, between his arm and my neck uh, and so I'm just trying to get out. Um, continues to have kind of some hand fighting, keeping that space, trying to get around and through his legs, uh, because if I get past his legs, I can kind of turn into him a little bit easier, uh, which kind of defeats the choke. Right there, I'm almost in a really bad position called belly down, uh, which I'm, I also, at that point, I'm like, oh man, I'm surprised that he let me kind of, he didn't, I don't think he saw that or recognized it or something because uh, he he could have easily kept me down there um, but we rolled back around here I'm trying to get past the legs my coach is yelling at me like hips to the sky and here I can I get a little bit of space to where I can start wrapping around his legs to get into half guard uh, still trying to turn he's going for some some arm locks um, right there uh, turn out of it so he can't get it but then he sets up for an arm bar and I'm unable to get out of it quickly enough, uh, which was the end of that match. Went a little bit further, longer than the first one, um, but still ended a little bit sooner than I would have preferred.
So I'm really glad that I competed. I was disappointed uh, afterwards because I was like, man, I, I thought I might have at least won one of them, being in the novice category and everything. I'm glad that I I'm glad that I got through one of the matches all the way through the four minutes, got some points there. Next step is learning not only to escape, but then get to an advantageous position uh, and then finish up some of the submissions. I had a day where I kind of felt sorry for myself and I'm like, oh, I really wish I would have won one. But the day after that, I was back at practice on Monday to keep learning and to keep growing. Back to the grind. Thanks so much for those who have been watching the last few vlogs of me kind of preparing for this. I know in the grand scheme of things, a white belt's first competition is not a big deal, but it was it was a big deal for me and I'm glad I did it. I don't think it'll be my last competition. I don't have any plans to compete anytime in the near future. Um, I think the earliest I'll probably do one is maybe the end of next summer so I can kind of spend the summer training as well. How do you lose well? How do you lose? How do you lose in a way that you can learn something? This video is a part of that process for me. You win or you learn. That said, my name is Tom Gibson. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something today and I'll see you in the next one.